I'm Jane King for The Street from the Nasdaq market site in Times Square. Hurricane Irma has turned deadly and is leaving a trail of destruction in the Caribbean before it heads to Florida. The island of Barbuda reportedly has 90 percent of its buildings destroyed. The Turks and Caicos are expected to be hit today. Meanwhile, the Miami Herald reports that some Floridians report price gouging by the airlines, with fares up as much as 300 percent. Well, Nelson Peltz has put forth a plan to shake up Procter & Gamble. It's a 94-page white paper. It details split up the company into three separate businesses. Peltz wants to split P&G into beauty, home care, and family care units, each with regional leaders. Procter & Gamble executives say they don't agree with Peltz's assessment of the company or the strategy he laid out. Well, it looks less likely that Gary Cohn will be named chairman of the Federal Reserve. President Trump had previously told the Wall Street Journal he was considering Cohn as top economic advisor for the job to replace Janet Yellen. But now sources tell the journal the shift in Cohn's prospects for the top job does arise largely from his criticism of Trump's response to the violence in Charlottesville, Virginia. Happening today, weekly jobless claims will be out. Four Federal Reserve officials will be on the speaking circuit today. And the EIA reports on supplies of oil and natural gas. That's a wrap for us. But be sure to track breaking news and analysis all day at thestreet.com. At the Nasdaq market site in Times Square, I'm Jane King for The Street. Have a great day.